What was the main message uh, behind your presentation today? The main message of my presentation today was twofold. One is that hydration is important in all aspects of daily life, and the second that hydration after exercise, which is caused sweat loss, is particularly important as part of the recovery process. In order to achieve that hydration, we need to consume uh, water, but we also need to consume salt, particularly after exercise to waste the salt that we've lost in sweat. What is your overall message on um, the place of beer uh, in an adult's diet? We're often told we should avoid alcohol because it, it's a diuretic and it causes us to become dehydrated. And while it's true that alcohol is a diuretic, it's not true that weak alcohol solutions will be particularly harmful to our hydration status. So if we drink strong alcohol drinks, we produce urine, because of the diuretic action, and that can cause us to become dehydrated. But if we consume, for example, beer, we can cons consume a large volume of water and a small volume of alcohol. So while there's a small increase in urine output, we consume sufficient water to more than offset that. So drinking beer will cause us to become better hydrated. Beer, as you said, is a low alcoholic beverage which means that it's less concent concentrated compared to other you know, beverages, alcoholic beverage. Do you believe this plays uh, a role uh, in um, rehydration? Yes, the alcohol content in, in a drink is extremely important. We know that each gram of alcohol causes us to produce about 10 mils of extra urine because of the action on the kidney. So if I drink a spirit, a whiskey for example, which typically I would drink 25 mils, that contains about 10 mils of alcohol and about 15 mils of water. Those 10 mils of alcohol will cause me to produce about 100 mils of urine, but I've only consumed 15 mils of water in my drink, so I'm in negative fluid balance by about 85 mils. If on the other hand I drink a pint of beer, and coming from the UK of course we think in pints rather than half a litre, but a pint is 564 mils, and it will contain about 11 grams of alcohol. So if I consume those 11 grams of alcohol, I'll produce about 110 mils of extra urine. But I drank 560 mils, so I'm half a litre better off than I would be if I didn't drink that beer. And we know if people are slightly dehydrated, the diuretic action of alcohol almost completely disappears. So drinking weak alcohol solutions, i.e. Uh, moderate strength beers, is a good solution if you need to hydrate. Thank you. Which is good news for beer drinkers. Exactly. <laughs> As uh, beer contains cereals and um, vitamins and fiber, does that help uh, for rehydration? The, the key issues in hydration are to have a source of water, which obviously all drinks contain, to have some electrolytes, particularly sodium, and perhaps to have also a little bit of carbohydrate. Now beer is very low in sodium, but it does contain a little bit of potassium, which can help. But the solution that most people adopt when they drink beer is to have some salty snacks alongside the beer. So we eat crisps and pretzels and nuts and other salty foods, and that gives us an effective uh, replacement of our, our electrolyte needs. Thank you.